It is important that the mill integrity of any mill be in order before we do an alignment. Today we're going to cover the uh, key points to check the integrity of a driven pass. Here we show a typical M-style pass. M-style means usually a fixed bottom shaft, the inboard stand incorporates the transmission, where the W-style or universal, the inboard and the outboard stand kind of look the same and they are powered by a drive shaft that's connected to a transmission that's usually on another base. Taking out the outboard stand, make sure that we have good bearings and everything on the outboard stand, replace them as necessary, ensure that the sleeve or the block has the float that is necessary for a proper assembly later on. Don't forget to check the ID of this here uh, sleeve. Many times we grease the uh, bearings and we kind of forget about the ID wear that can happen over many, many years of work. Just take a telescoping gauge or a bore gauge, whatever the case may be, check it, make sure that the bore is within spec. You want to use the same type of one thou per one inch tolerance that we used when we were checking the OD of the shafts or the driven passes in previous tech tip videos. Do the same thing for the oversized bore there for the sleeve as well. Make sure that the uh, OD of the shaft is uh, in order as again outlined in the uh, tech tip video that we had covered earlier before. Uh, next thing we want to do is check for loose bearings or bearing blocks. Grabbing hold of the shaft on the smaller mills like this. You can see if we've got movement where the shaft goes into the bearing block and then again secondly where the bearing block goes and mounts on the tower. To inspect the bearings if necessary. If they're rough you know and we have an issue there replace them. Make sure you preload those properly. You'll find those instructions again on our website under proper preloading of taper roller bearings. So be sure to look that up. Once we get the bearings all tight we can then take a look at the bearing blocks and if the end caps need to be tightened up whether it's using shims or machining of the end caps or the blocks themselves make sure we have a nice tight fit so that the slide going up and down is in order. Don't forget about checking the shoulder alignment that we also covered in earlier tech tip videos so that we get the top shoulder lined up with the bottom shoulder and we get everything in order. We want to also parallel the shafts once we get all the integrity like we need. Sliding on the outboard stand, we will take a set of parallel blocks, mechanical parallel blocks, put them in between here, and then of course we can come down with our adjustments so we can take the end, end play out of our lead screws and we can positively parallel our shafts, getting them ready for the assembly and we put them back on the mail. Check your shafts for runout. <clears throat> if we have a runout situation, you can take a dial indicator with a magnetic base, jog the mill, raise the indicator up when it comes across the keyway, and check for any bent shafts that we might have. It's important that we do all the other integrity checks. The bearings are good and the sleeves are good here, the OD of the shafts are good, the bearings are good in the inboard stand, the bearing blocks. If we don't cover those bases first, we'll be indicating those problems instead of what we're looking for right here, and that is for a bent shaft. Again, if we have a shaft that's bent more than about one to two thou, it needs to be targeted for a replacement. It all depends upon the uh, quality or the validity uh, standards that you have on your mill. The uh, quality standards are much tighter nowadays, so it's important that we uh, hold those uh, tolerances on our mechanics of our mill to match that uh, ovality tolerance that you have with your customers. Stay tuned later for checking the integrity of side pass stands that we'll cover next in our next Tech Tip video from Rowcraft.